Hello everyone, today we will be making Christmas ornaments which will be 3D printed and we will be inspired by these paper ornaments so for today I want to make this Christmas tree so we found a good picture we'll take it like this we also have here some uh, dimensions 8 centimeters tall so we'll save it now we will open Fusion 360, we'll load the picture in, we'll paste it into the front, try to locate it in the center, just like that, okay, now we'll go to calibrate it from top to bottom, and we know it's 8 centimeters, so 80 millimeters, we can still check the position by showing the origin about here. Perfect. Now we can do the first sketch. Front page or front plane. And now we'll just simply make an outline. Here up to here and now fit point spline and you can just freehand it if it's trying to snap into the grid you can hold down the shift and then you're free to move sorry it's control yep so you can hold down control and it will not try to snap in the grid but you're free to move it so we will trace it out and here we can do sharp transition with the line Perfect, we can move it a bit. That's that. Now this one make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. Okay, now we will go to extrude and we will just extrude it. Now the important part is the distance, how much to extrude it. And you would know that if you would open your preferred slicer, for me it's Prusa slicer, and you will go to your profile, what you normally use, and you select parameters too. And it will show you what the width is for two parameters, and that is 0 0.86 millimeters. So let's say 0 0.86. And direction, we can go symmetric, so it's actually in the center of the sketch. And to make it the whole distance not just the half section so the thickness is 0 0.86 now we have that and now it's only a matter of so circular pattern object this one axis the origin and now finding out how many of these objects you want in order to make it look good so let's say 24 okay we can hide the picture in the background so you can directly see how it will look so now it's showing me there are multiple bodies so you can just select all of them first holding down shift, clicking on the last, combine, join, and okay. So they are now one. And we need to have still some hole through the middle to be able to put some thread in. So I'll create a sketch on the top. C for circle, 2.5. 
for the whole extrude click and pull through cut okay that's it so we can save it christmas ornament save we can export it as a step file on a desktop you can also check in the render how would we look like let's say we want some red so click on appearances type in red let's have something like this and click on in canvas render wait for a while looks good you can save this image on your desktop yep and now we can go to the 3d printing part so we will save it as always and we will export it in a step format down the desktop now we will go to crucial slicer add the model christmas ornament which we created now the print orientation looks that this is flat that it will print nicely but you will need a support here so if you flip it around print it like this it will be easier to print now on top here we want to search for vase mode spiral vase and activate it click on yes and now also activate the brim click on slice and this is how it will print it will take roughly two hours and should be good now you see why we checked beforehand the width of the two perimeter lines because it exactly prints it nicely and they meet in the middle and also we will check the bottom and there's our hole for the string to go through and we will just export the g-code and we can print it so the whole printing took roughly two and a half hours 25 grams of filament and we will just tie the string in and we can hang it on a tree so i hope that was useful for you if you need to design anything else just write it in the comments and next time we will pick it so as always have a nice day and bye bye